All right, you guys, ZFR back here covering another Dragon Ball Super video. This is going to be another video covering the one hour special once again. And this time around, we're going to be talking about Frieza because I don't think a lot of people picked up on the Frieza stuff earlier in the episode that led up to the um big moment towards the end. And I I really think Frieza is going to do something major in this tournament. I don't think that they're showing us all these little hints of Frieza um, and not building towards anything. He's definitely up to something bigger, something more malicious. And pretty much, here's what I mean. So, earlier in the episode, if you do... um and this is in episode 110 if you look earlier in the episode when goku gets his new form and beers figures out what it is and all the gods of destruction are shocked you know they're kind of shaking a little bit um they're they're, they're basically like in awe the, in the fact that Goku could have this form and even seem a little bit scared of it and Frieza takes note of this they make sure to show us that Frieza is taking note of this and he's he's smiling you know it just looks like he's scheming something and honestly at this point I'm, I'm just throwing it out there I'm calling it right now Frieza is definitely after the gods of destruction he is definitely planning something for all of them and I'm super excited to see how that plays out. And I think I have an idea of which direction it's going to go in. And that's with him winning the Super Dragon Balls and possibly becoming a god of destruction. Um, maybe becoming the only god of destruction. Maybe becoming the god of destruction of Universe 7 and taking Beerus' place. And I think that's the direction it's going to go in. And just imagine that if um, Frieza became the god destruction of Universe 7, guys. Um, he would, that would probably leave him to have to fight Goku and Vegeta and everybody and, Beer, and Beerus. Because I'm assuming Beerus just wouldn't disappear if he ceased to be the god destruction. So I'm sure Beerus would want to fight Frieza um, over something like that. So we could get a Beers versus Frieza fight after this arc. We never know if Frieza manages to get his hands on those Super Dragon Balls. And how is he going to do that? Because I know a lot of you are probably sitting there, but like sitting there asking, but how though? Like Jiren, like Jiren is way too powerful for Frieza. How on earth is he ever going to um, be the last one standing if Jiren's still in this? And that's what I think this ending scene is about. That's what I think the very last scene of that looks like Frieza is getting ready to betray Goku since he's so hurt. I don't think he's betraying Goku. I think he's getting ready to interrogate Goku on what his new form is. I think Frieza is going to try and learn the Ultra Instinct. And I think he's going to try and use it to beat Jiren. I can see him doing that because we already know that Frieza was kind of um right on Goku's level before this tournament started, or he was um, you know, just barely trailing behind him. So Frieza isn't um that much weaker than Goku is right now. Um so honest I mean He's not, yeah, he's not that much weaker than Goku um, compared to, you know, like their power level when the tournament started and stuff is what I mean to say. So, honestly, I can see him um, mastering that. I can see him, you know, unlocking that before Goku, before Vegeta and being a big surprise. And I can see him using it to catch Jiren off guard and knocking him and Goku out or anyone else who just happens to be in the ring. And like I said, if... If the all the other universes get erased, first of all, that would be a completely dark arc. That that would be a dark end to this arc if um, Universe Seven does win because Frieza knocks everyone out or knocks Jiren and the rest of the contestants out. But he uses the Wisp to you know become God of Destruction. Then 
in that case, the other universes stay erased. Just think about that for a second. That would really heighten Frieza's role as a villain because instead of using the um, Super Dragon Balls to revive all the other universes like everyone is predicting, he would use the Wiz for something else and that would just... That that would just really solidify Frieza as a bad dude, because in that case he would get Gear in a race, he would get Universe Eleven and all the other universes a race, Universe Six, and I can honestly see Universe the characters in Universe Seven, um, fighting Frieza, trying to beat him as a god of destruction and trying to gather the Super Dragon Balls to undo that. Um, but. They will have to obviously deal with Frieza first. And on top of this, just think about this. If Frieza becomes God of Destruction in Universe 7, then Whis is probably going to be on Frieza's side. And we're probably going to have to see um, Whis tag team with Frieza. Or Frieza's probably going to order him to or whatever. Or who knows, maybe he won't need him to. But, but Whis, I'm pretty sure he'll side with whoever is currently God Destructs. And even if he does like Beerus and Goku and everybody. So that sounds like an interesting setup for the next arc. And that's just my prediction for what's going on with Frieza. Because he's definitely not just in this little sub Kind of, he's not in like this little sub role right now like something bigger is going on with Frieza They keep teasing it. They teased it in episode 108 when he kind of gave um the god of destruction from universe 2 to glare He's definitely planning something for the gods of destruction and it's going to be big I can't wait to see what it is. I hope it's what I'm thinking because if that is, that is going to um, be a pretty socking into this term and power. And I will take back everything I said about Frieza coming back. So, yeah, with that being said, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a little bit of a bigger one, but I think this has the potential to really, if they do that, oh my God. But anyway. Once again, thanks for watching, you guys. That's where I'm going to end it. Leave likes and comments down below if you really enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. ZFR out, you guys.